just entered one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Peru. And uh, oh my god, look at these buildings. Yeah. See, there's Miraflores, Barranco near the beach, tourist areas, and then we got this about just like 15 minutes away. That neighborhood's like this. Hood. So for all, for everybody, so for everybody living in Estados Unidos, California, LA, Miami, you know, complaining about life. Okay, this is how some people gotta live. They were born into this. Look at that kid. He was born into this neighborhood. He didn't ask for it. You know, so if you were born in somewhere nicer than this, say thank you. Show a little gratitude. Because you could have easily been born on these streets. Oh my god. I think I just saw a body on the street. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, now it's getting serious. Yeah, look at these roads too. Yeah. This is rough. Es de un mercado que, que vende muchas cosas y lo que todo lo que es eh, comestible y también no comestible. Wow. Uh, uh. Selling some clothes, a lot of second hand clothes. I guess this is like the farmer's market in the ghetto or the hood. Oh, interesting. A little taxi car. God, look at that dog up there. Okay, this is the hood. All right, so I've been walking around. Fuck, I'm lost. I don't even know where the hell I am. Oh my god, these buildings. But yeah, you know, I want to just walk around and uh, experience this and see what it's like and how people are living, you know. It's crazy, I was just in Barranco or Mir Miraflores and you know, everyone's like living good and comfortable. You come out here and it's a whole new world.
a whole different country. <laughs> yeah, and I don't even recognize that I'm in the same place. Oh my god. But yeah, interesting to see. And yeah, no problems. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. So, instead of people swearing at me or bothering me, they're saying Buenas tardes. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool for the most dangerous hood in Peru. You know? Yeah, oh, there's police right there too. So, yeah. I wish I could walk with no shirt to get a full tan. And I need a drink. And I gotta pee so bad. Oh my god. I can't find a place to pee. And I don't wanna disrespect anybody over here too. Hola. Yeah, that guy was mumbling something at me. But whatever. through one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Lima and there's like a market up ahead so I figure I should just check it out you know and show you guys what it's all about but yeah you know they, they say or they, they've been telling me this is like the most dangerous place but I don't feel that much in danger I mean got people drinking talking having a good time so yeah let's go check it out let's see what all the fuss is about a big market like a big flea market so i guess this is where everybody does their shopping Got nice fruits. Oh, I wonder if I can find mangosteno over here. Hmm. Oh, what is that? that looks interesting. Lots of bananas. That's what I noticed in Peru. Lots of bananas. Oh, dog food. Wow. Perdón, ¿qué es eso? Fruta. ¿Es un fruta? Sí. ¿Es dulce o no? Sí. ¿Sí? Ok. Después quiero intentar. Yeah. Said it's a fruit and it's sweet, so I'll try it. But oh my god, it smells kind of bad over here. All right, doesn't look like there's much. Like this is the end. Maybe I'll walk back on the other side. See what I can find. Hold up. Try that fruit, but this area smells really, really bad. 
so I am trying to escape this madness. Wait, uh, I'm on the other side, okay. Now it's going away. Ooh. And it is hot, hot, hot. All right, I just came and saw the, all these people over here. They're celebrating a life of a small child that died or somebody's son and they're celebrating his life. I think that's his mother crying and speaking. Well, crazy. I don't want to, you know, be filming this and showing disrespect, so I'm gonna leave. But I just, yeah, it's sad. That, that was sad. I'm back in the market, walking back now. So, just a bunch of shoes, slippers, clothes, household items. I guess on that other side, they were selling more fruits and vegetables. So, but oh, it smelled really, really bad on that side. I'm actually happy to be on this side right now. Yeah, I didn't want to be smelling that anymore. Huh. Huh. This is the place to come shopping. I mean, it looks like they got a lot of cool things and good, good quality item. Look at those socks. Bags. Yeah. Good quality stuff. Probably super cheap too. That was just a quick look at one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Lima, Peru. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it's like. And I'm okay, I survived. I didn't get robbed. I didn't get mobbed. You know, hey, hola. see, nice guys, nice guys, nice guys. Japanese, see, so Japanese, Japanese. Yeah, and that lady, I think, just said, "Be careful of my camera." Um, yeah, but I'm okay. You know, I just wanted to show what it's like. And um, yeah, different different worlds, you know. I grew up in Hawaii, Thailand, Japan, all over. Even Australia, I lived there for a little bit. And um, yeah, it's interesting to see different parts of the world and how people are living. And always to remind me how blessed and lucky I am. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.